Welcome, or welcome back on C-square. In this video clip, we're going to talk about solving quadratic equation by completing the square. So first of all, let's take a look how we complete the square. And we'll take a look to this number 35 and 36. And for completing the square, we're going to look to this number, 18, right? We're going to divide it by 2. And then we're going to square that number. Therefore, that trinomial becomes x squared plus 18x plus 81, which end up as a perfect square. That's the reason we complete the square, x plus 9 squared. Go ahead and try number 36. As you, not, as you notice on number 36, we uh, have a negative sign because of this negative sign here. Uh, other than that, the same uh, technique. The answer is x minus 12 square. Uh, 37 and 38 are not that friendly. If you take a look here, we have negative x, which brings us a 1. Now we still use the same technique. 1 divided by 2 is 0.5 if you want to use decimal. Also, we can use a fraction. 1 over 2 square will be 0.25 or one fourth either way so obviously this guy will be x square x square minus x plus 0.25 which end up in the form x minus 0.5 square or x minus one half square go ahead and try number 38 please If you end up with uh, any of these two answers, then you did a wonderful job. Now, what do we need to know complete a square? Because we can solve equation by completing a square. So let's take a look to number 39. Now, number 39, look at here, I'm going to take just the first two terms of the quadratic equation, x squared plus 6x. And now I'm going to complete a square. And if you remember, we divide 6 by 2, that will be 3, 3 squared will be 9. As you notice, I, I subtract the 9 after that, and of course I'm going to finish the equation by copying minus 3. So, you notice these two equations, this one and this one are the same thing. Uh, let, me, let me use arrow, okay. So, now we look into this guy, which is a perfect square. And here we have a negative 9 minus 3. That would be negative 12. We're going to add 12. So we can move it on the other side. Now we're going to use the square root property, which is going to give us, be careful here, plus or minus square root of 12. And now we're going to subtract 3 and we're going to have the solutions of this quadratic equation. Maybe you just want to simplify that square root of 12. Go ahead and try number 40.
If you end up with this solution for number 40, you did a wonderful job. As you notice, number 41 and 42, they have a leading coefficient. These are the hardest one when you need to solve the equation by completing the square. So let's take a look. First of all, I'm going to factor out the 4. But as you notice, I factor out the 4 only for the first two terms of the quadratic equation. And then I'm going to complete the square, right? Uh, if you remember, 10 over 4 can be simplified. That would be 5 halves. We divide by 2. That will give us 5 fourths. We square it. That will give us 25 over 16. And this is the number I, I'm going to add and subtract. Now, obviously, this guy here is the perfect square. going to do the distributive property now. And also I would advise to change that 3 if you want to work with fraction in 12 over 4. So, what do we get now? We get uh, 4 times the quantity x plus 5 over 4 squared equals 37 over 4. If we divide by 4, we get x plus 5 fourths square equals 37 over 16. I'm going to take square root now. And we're going to subtract 5 fourths. And we get the solution. As you notice, this is not a very friendly one, if, uh, especially if you use fraction. Um, maybe some of you would like to use decimal. Uh, I usually prefer fraction. Go ahead and uh, pause the video clip and try number 42.
this is the solution for number 42 again an unfriendly one uh, thank you for watching this video clips and uh, come back on c square for more video clips